Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 27th of November to the 1st of December 2017. As always, we're going to start with the US dollar index and oil before we run through a number of markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to look at the targets that we're looking at in the coming week and also weeks ahead. So I hope you're all having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we broke down below key support at the 94.03 and we were kind of stuck between these two key areas of support and resistance. So we had a kind of neutral bias on the dollar index and we said we weren't going to resume our bullish bias unless we broke back above the 94.030. And as you can see, we tried to do that last week and we actually failed and we broke down below the 93.45 key area of support. And you can see once we broke down below here, we came straight to the next key area of support to the downside at 92.635 and we finished the week just above this key area of support. So going into next week we view this capitulation now as pointing to further declines in the dollar index and we do have a bearish bias going into next week on the dollar index. This means that we are going to be looking to trade in the direction of the overall move here. So if we get a pullback and a retest of broken support at 93.455, this would be a great place to start looking for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking, first of all, down to the bottom here at the 92.635. There is a risk that we could go into a bit of a range like this, but we're going to be looking for further declines and a break of the key area of support down here at the 92.635 and a continuation of this move to the downside. And if we get that, we're going to be looking down towards the target of the 91.55 in the US dollar index. So next we have oil. Now, last week we were sitting underneath the key area of resistance at the time, 56.83. And we said on a move above this key area of resistance and a failure of this resistance area, we were going to be looking for longs up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside at 58.79. As you can see, oil performed very nicely last week. Uh, completing that move. Now we go into next week with oil just breaking above this key air resistance at 58.79. So we would like to look for longs in the direction of the overall move here. Ideally, what we'd like to see is a further push through this key air resistance and maybe some accumulation, possibly even a retest here would be nice of broken resistance turning support. And if we get that kind of price action, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs on the back of those bullish formations and patterns up towards the next key air resistance and the target to the upside the 61.74. So the first pair we're going to look at is the euro US dollar. Now last week we started the week in this kind of area here and I mean we just could not have asked for a nicer move in the euro US dollar last week. We we're looking for a pullback and a test of broken resistance turning support at the 1.17225 and we were looking for these two targets to the upside at the 1.18363 and you can see we broke through the first target and we actually finished the week just taking out the second target at the 1.19370 area. Now going into next week we sit just underneath the key area of resistance at the 1.19370 so what we'd like to see to get involved with this move to the upside in the euro dollar is a break through this resistance area and looking for this to turn support. And if we get that kind of price action, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in this area. We're going to be looking at taking those longs up towards the next key area resistance of the target to the upside, the 1.20770. Now, if we get a failure at this key area resistance, we're going to be looking for a potential retest again of broken resistance over here turning support. And this kind of price action exactly as we've seen over here would again provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns first of all up towards this kind of double top area here at the 1.19370 again but with a view of breaking and coming up again to the overall target here at the 1.20770 so the next pair we're going to look at is the pound us dollar now, last week, we were, we've been in this range here now for it's coming up to two months. So this is pretty much an eight week range here we've seen in the pound dollar. So really nothing 
uh, explosive happening in the pound dollar for a while now. Now, last week we broke above the key area of resistance over here in the range top around the 1.3270 area, and this has signaled perhaps a resolution to the upside now uh, of this eight week range in the pound dollar. Now, what this means is with the decline in the US dollar index at the moment as well, we are looking for bullish formations and patterns in the pound dollar. And if we get a break above the key air of resistance over here at the 1.3341, we're going to be looking for a retest of broken resistance and support. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area, looking to take longs up towards the next key air of resistance to the upside and the target at the 1.3447. So the next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now the US dollar Japanese yen was another pair that performed nicely last week. You can see we came down, took out the targets and the key areas of support to the downside at the 111.719 and then also the 111.321. And we don't really have any uh, evidence here or anything pointing to the bulls taking back control of this market. So going into next week, we're looking for further declines in the US dollar Japanese yen. A pullback and a retest of broken support at the 111.719 will provide a great area to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 110.008. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now, despite the declines in the US dollar, we can see that the Aussie is actually setting up uh, for shorts. Uh, we've had a pullback here and a retest of key broken support turning resistance at the 076274. And so as a result, because we go into next week sitting in this area, we are going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. If the Aussie is also weak and we have a weak dollar, we could see this go into a bit of a range. Or if the US dollar index starts to go into a bit of a range and we have a very weak Aussie, then we could see a break of this and a continuation down towards the next key area of support on the targets and downside 0 0.74888. However, we are prepared to be flexible with the Aussie US dollar next week. And if we start to get a break above the key area of resistance at the 0 0.76274, I would expect to see some longs coming into the market at this point, especially if we do get further declines in the US dollar. So just bear in mind that although it's setting up for shorts at the moment, if we get a reversal of this setup and we start to break above this key area of resistance, we will be looking for longs up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside here at the 0 0.76941. So we're prepared to play the Aussie both ways next week and be flexible with it. The next bear we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week off the back of the declines in the US dollar index, we had a failure of this level to hold as resistance. We had a break as support at 0 0.68217, a test as resistance, and then a failure as resistance. So with further declines in the US dollar index on the cards next week, we are looking for a correction to take place in New Zealand US dollar, possibly even a pullback to the key area of now support at the 0 0.68217. And if we get a correction down towards this area or even at this area down here, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns, and we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the next key area of resistance and the targets to the upside at 0 0.69530. And we could be seeing New Zealand US dollar going into a bit of a range as so. OK. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Swissy. Now, the US dollar franc last week broke down and failed to hold at this key area of support over here at the 0 0.98599. Now, with further declines in the US dollar seen as a high probability, we're going to be looking for further declines in the US dollar franc as well. Now, we're coming in quite close to the next key area of support to the downside in the first target at 0 0.97622. So ideally, what we'd like to see is a correction to take place and a pullback a retest of broken support turning resistance at the 0 0.98599. And if we get that kind of price action, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. First of all, to take shorts down towards the first target down here in the first key area of support to the downside at 0 0.97622. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the secondary target and the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.96480. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now, last week we saw the decline in the US dollar index weighing on the US dollar CAD. 
and we tried and failed to break above this key area of resistance, testing as support and failing as support, as you can see. So very simply put, we're just looking for a correction to take place and a retest of this area as resistance. And if we get this kind of price action, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at shorting those bearish formations and patterns, first of all, down towards the next key area of support and the first target to the downside at the 1.26382. If we can get a breakthrough here, we're looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 1.25675. And last but by no means least, we are going to have a look at the Euro New Zealand. Now, last week we were sitting up in this area and we said we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.72077. You can see we started to break down below this, but we did in fact break back above this and this did hold a support. And we started making our way up to the targets highlighted from last week, at the 1.74869 and also the 1.75842. So very simply put, if we get a pullback and a correction and a retest of this key area of support at the 1.72077, this will provide a great opportunity for anybody who wasn't involved last week to re-establish or establish positions. And if we just get a slight correction, but not a pullback all the way down to support, we're still going to be looking to establish secondary positions on the Euro New Zealand. And we're going to be looking at taking longs in this kind of area here. And we're going to be looking, as I said, up towards the target, still the same from last week at the 1.74869 and the 1.75842 respectively. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A huge thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis and all of our subscribers. I appreciate you very much and I appreciate the ongoing interaction you have with this channel. It makes it really, really good. So the only thing left to say is I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.